debris was found not far from the bow of the Titanic, a sign that the expedition had likely reached its intended destination two miles below the surface of the ocean, an unforgiving environment that makes human survival and recovery impossible. An adventure of a lifetime ending in tragedy. All five passengers on board the Titanic bound submersible were killed. I offer my deepest condolences to the families. After a five day search, debris from the sub known as the Titan was found about 1600 feet from the bow of the Titanic, deep in the North Atlantic Ocean. The debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion. Those who knew the five passengers are grappling with their loss. He meant so much. He's so caring, an incredible sense of humor, too. Paul Henri Narjolet was a French diver with decades of experience exploring the Titanic. Pakistani billionaire Shasada Daywood and his 19 year old son Suleiman were also on board, along with Hamish Harding, a British businessman who went on several extreme expeditions. And the man behind OceanGate, CEO Stockton Rush, who co founded the submersible service company in 2009. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. The vessel lost contact an hour and 45 minutes after launching Sunday morning from St. John's, New Newfoundland. The U.S. Navy now saying it detected an implosion in the water Sunday and notified rescuers. But many questions remain about the safety of touring the Titanic's wreckage, which rests about 13,000 feet below the ocean's surface, twice the depth of the Grand Canyon. The, pretty much everybody involved understood the risks. Now that uh, will likely be the focus over the next several days, trying to understand exactly what happened and whether or not it could have been prevented. The ocean exploring community says figuring that out will be key in order for exploration to be able to move forward. Reporting from Newfoundland, Gloria Pasmino, back to you.